Welcome to Iron Man Raid Specialist, featuring Quan Man Raid. The goal of this series is to acquire gear and skills to perfect a Raids Willing Specialist account. Every 75 Raids I can go for 1 of 19 upgrades necessary to build this account, ending at 1500 Soul Raids. Please enjoy the series. It's time to focus on getting the next upgrade, the Dragon Pickaxe. We've unlocked it recently, so here's the plan. I am going to be killing Venonatus for it, just because there is a really uh, nice method, or many methods actually, where you can just kill it pretty chill uh, with some mediocre range gear. And it also drops red spider eggs as well, which is nice for restore, so that's going to be the boss that I'm doing. So, how am I going to be killing it? I'll talk more in detail, but I want to get some spider tasks because spider tasks will mean that I get to use the helm to make the kills faster because yeah, that boss could take a long time because I'm planning on killing it with an MSB. So I'm going to try to get it from Crystalia uh, from the Wilderness Slayer Taskmaster because she can give a big amount. And one of the best things is, is that even if I don't get a good task from her, I can use Turtle to skip it. And it won't reset my normal Slayer Streak, because this is a Wilderness Slayer Streak, it's its own thing. And Toriel can also give you Spider Task, so it's perfect. Alright, let's see, I need another task. Oh, okay, that was easy, guys! First try, I already got the Spider Task. So my main weapon for killing Vanatis is going to be Magic Shortbow Imbued, or just regular Magic Shortbow, should I lose this Imbued one? It doesn't really matter too much. But for the method, it's pretty necessary. That or a crossbow, which I don't have. But anyways, I can actually make some amethyst arrows for my shortbow, which is dope. I've been mining a lot of amethyst uh, here and there when I'm just AFKing. Because sometimes I really got an AFK and this is one of the best ones. But came in handy though, because I actually didn't even plan this, but I just realized I had these. So might as well make the best arrows I can for the shortbow. And yes, yeah, Lisa Venatus. I'll explain the method in a bit once I, you know, get around to practicing it and getting to know it a bit better. All right, I made 5,000 amethyst arrows, so I reckon that's gonna be good enough, right? <laughs> but yeah, for tonight though, I'm gonna go in and get some practice rounds with these. So Venonatus is quite the popular boss. It's probably the most popular out of the three main wilderness bosses from like Callisto Vedion because it drops some good things. Yeah, it's pretty packed and I could tell because I was looking for worlds. So total worlds were pretty packed and yeah, even if you did find a world, some guy would try to crash you. Like, no joke, that has happened. But non-total worlds are just a no-go. There's just way too many PKers. I got attacked like every five minutes, at least for me. So yeah, it was just no good. But anyways, all in all, I did find a good time to do it, which was at like 2 a.m., <laughs> you know, where most people are definitely not playing RuneScape. But yeah, it was actually not bad. I, I could go like 30 minutes to an hour without getting attacked, which was awesome in a total world. So let me quickly talk about the method that I'm doing. So it's one of the many state spotting methods, but this one is uh, lesser known. But I think it's one of the best methods because you can pair it with a cannon, which I'll show you in a bit. Uh, but this method is not discovered by me, so I will give credit to Mr. Sebe. He's another creator. Pretty much figure out this specific method. But he does have a video explaining it more, um, of course, in depth. So I'll put it in the description if you need more info. But I'll quickly talk about how this method works. But this method essentially relies on moving the same exact way that I did in this video. A few key things also is that you must use a 3 tick weapon which is basically either MSB or a crossbow. And you must attack constantly. You can't just randomly stop attacking because it'll mess it up. And also do not use MSB spec because that will mess it up as well. And also you need to make sure your magic prayer is on the whole time. But fear not, even if you mess up, there is another nice method that you can do, courtesy of Sebe again, that you should use, should you mess up the safe spot, which I'll show you. I'm gonna slow it down so I can show you how to do the start properly. So you wanna be at that square that's marked on the web when you start. When the boss spawns, you must wait for it to look at you and then attack the boss. So you wait one tick. And you must attack the boss three times. 
And on the third hit, you must move down south to the other marker that's on the screen. And you can either just stay there and keep attacking the boss, or you can move to the east one square. Just make sure you're constantly attacking, not missing hits, because uh, that's important. Now, the reason why you want to move one square east is because that actually brings you to the single line while the boss is in multi, which makes it really good. You don't get uh, banged out by groups of PKers, and you can also teleport out because it's sub 30 wilderness. So after checking out Venonatus in the first day, I quickly realized that MSB on its own is just too slow, and the cannon is definitely worth it. It's also low risk because you can't really lose it as well, even to a PKer. So it's worth it because I was doing like over double the kill speed with the cannon. It also makes the other method where if you mess up this one a lot better as well. So I'll show you uh, in a second here what I mean. All right, I just finished making uh, 5,000 cannonballs. So hopefully this will be enough. Although I can make a lot more, honestly. I got like, uh, yeah, I got plenty of components to make some more, but 5,000 is good. All right, so I learned a lot from yesterday and I upgraded my setup a little bit here. So I can bring MSP imbued and Slayer Helm imbued and Anguish and not lose it, no matter what happens. Even without protect item, you know, and stuff. So it's not a big deal. Let me quickly show you where you place the cannon. So it is right between where the bottom two tiles are at and that's it you don't really need to place it at a specific time you just gotta place it so this is the other method that you would use at the start of your trip and also if you mess up setting it up the right way and it involves being near this tree that I'm at right now the northeastern tree and you want to lure the boss so that it gets the tree and you just simply hit the boss when it's at the tree and it will hit you if you don't have a cannon and it will eventually start going back to the center of where it spawns. You can get two free hits before it notices you and tries to attack you again. And that's when you go back to the tree. Now with the cannon though, you're able to time it so that as the cannon hits the boss at the tree, you can then attack it and it won't attack you for whatever reason. It just won't attack you. So you can actually do this method without taking any damage if you do it properly, as long as you have a cannon. But yeah, check out Seibei's video for more uh, info on that. Nice, I can refill my cannon while doing this, but you gotta be so perfect though. You can't like stop this rhythm of three takes. Red spider eggs though, holy shit, nice. This place sucks, but hey, the drops are decent though. That's for sure. Oh, if I use e ah, it's the magic short bow spec that f**ks it up. Oh, so I can't use the magic short bow because the double shot will ruin it. Ah, I see. As soon as I used it, it stopped working, so. Uh. Oh, Laren's key, first one. Nice. Ooh. Yeah, what a good trip, man. Finally, you know, after a few hours of trying, I actually managed to stay here for a bit. Yeah, the spider eggs are good. Got to do it super late because when I started, I guess it wasn't late enough and there was just so many people. Damn, I'm tempted to bring like my snakeskin boots. Oh, yeah. I just noticed I have like 6,000. Oh, where the fuck is Venonatus? Surprise, motherfucker. Oh, oh, bitch. I think that's my max hit. 32 with MSB Amethyst arrows. Not bad. Accuracy is the real problem though. Dang, just finished my first Fenonatus task. 62 kills. No! I said careful, because one of my CC mates was there. And uh, unfortunately, insta killed by the boss. Oh my god, no! Uh, probably better off to wait till I kill this thing before you pick it back up. Oh, yes, let's go. Terrio gave me 48 spiders. Let's go. 
that's almost the maximum. Uh, I think 50 is maximum materials, so hell yeah. I don't need Crystallia. Alright guys, first full session of Venonatus did like, I don't know man, 5 hours, 6 hours-ish. And the uh, loot was pretty good, man. I think we got like way lucky on the red spider eggs. <laughs> 2.5k, like shit, that's crazy. That's so good. I'm like stalked, I think, for the rest of the series, as is. Uh, but yeah, nine rune pickaxes so far. 97 kills. Oh, we got it! Yes! <gasps> yes! Let's go, dude. Oh man, I hate the wilderness, guys. I respect the rules, but I just hate having to be here. Yes, let's go, freaking yo, Huang Man Luck strikes again. Woohoo! 110 kills. I mean, you know, we did get triple digits, so that was cool. But um, okay, so we can untag the room pickaxe for rates now, and I guess. Put this right next to where the rune pickaxe used to be. I believe. Where it's right here. Nice. Ah, really awesome upgrade. I get guardians almost all the time because I'm biased when it comes to scouting to get guardians. So, hell yeah, dude. This is going to help a lot. For sure. Save a lot of time overall. And also, the smashing uh, spec is pretty nice sometimes for the mining shortcut. All right, there's a chest here. Yeah, there we go. Let's try it out. First key, roof full helmet, and oh, okay. I mean, it was worth the travel. It was worth the travel. <laughs> Never opened these before, so that that was a cool thing to do. Oh, wait. What about this showcase? Oh, hell yeah. Let's do this. <laughs> Smashing. Yeah, I could have probably saved the specs for uh, the agility room for heals, but honestly, it's not a big deal because this raid, I'm going to have to do some prepping and make some brews. So might as well just get some extra points off this and save some run. 46. Oh, yeah, dude. The power of the D-Pig, man. Oh, ho, ho. lots of big hits. 54. Let's go, dude. Damn, such a massive upgrade, dude, from Rune Pickaxe. This is such a big difference compared to the Rune Pickaxe because I'm hitting over 10 max hits, I believe, over the Rune Pickaxe. Ever since getting 7 some Rune Crafting, I've gone about 10,000 Blood Runes. I've gone over a level as well. So from how often I'm using the Scythe daily, I should be able to supply the Blood Runes just through Rune Crafting. And the scythe, though, plan-wise, is other than using it for TOB for the Sang Staff Grind, I will also try to incorporate for raids. There are some new metas with the scythe at, like, Tecton and at Ulm that I do want to learn eventually. So very soon, I will be learning some of the new strategies that people have figured out with the scythe. It's going to be interesting. So our next upgrade is going to be a Torture Amulet at 1125 solo race 1kc. Which is pretty close. I'm getting there in KC. But yeah, I need to get at least three more crafting levels. So I can boost. And also, I need to get a Zenite. So. Uh, but yeah, that's a standard grind. You know, so it won't take too long. Should be a nice upgrade very soon. So I started running short on scales. And I haven't been back at Zora for a while. But I decided to go back just to stock up. And try to get like 50k. And it was easy as hell. Because I got two Magic Fangs in like under an hour. So yeah, dismantle them, and now I have a full blowpipe pretty much, and yeah, 50,000 scales. I was doing some fishing right uh, before, but I don't have time to AFK that anymore. It's all about blood rune AFK now nowadays. Ridiculous! Oh shit, 81 rune crafting, dude. Oh man, I love this place. I'll be here forever and ever making blood runes. Damn, dude, look at that. Yeah, we are easily funding our uh, scythe nowadays. Oh, this is so good. It's gonna be kind of expensive though. Ooh, damn, 700k to clean my herbs, but dude, <laughs> beats hurting your fingers. I mean, it doesn't really hurt, but yeah. Damn, stocked up on a ton of super restores. Still got 1.2k uh, red spider eggs left for Venonatus. 
but yeah this is plenty bro plenty for a long time i only really need to focus on uh, stocking up on some brews but just got a kingdom up more and uh, some bird houses and we're good range pots are refilled as well from uh, all the wines from theater blood grind so far looking for the sang staff Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you found this video to be enjoyable, consider giving it a like. We also have a friends chat. Feel free to join that if you want to hang out. And also, consider subscribing and ringing the bell. That way you will get all video notifications. And if you have Amazon Prime, feel free to subscribe on twitch.tv slash ricecup and you can financially support me for free through Amazon Prime. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys later.